The next major deliverable for the persistent universe will be called persistence. It will involve everything from, database abstraction layers and caching functionality, integration with a new, global entity ID system, the seamless transition of items from one server to another. You know, it's never 100%, you know, we, like, we still have a lot of data that's yet to be designed before we can persist it. And we have the P-cache, persistence cache. Persistence cache sits before the persistence database service that writes directly to database taking all that, the traffic from all the dedicated game servers. So many stateless, uh, easy to scale services that we can have whatever we want and cope with whatever load we get. Now that we feel that we've got the bones in place for the persistent universe in terms of you know, fully persistent ships, characters, items, uh, uh, you know, the full persistence, the ability for you to go anywhere in the universe and, you know, me drop this remote on the floor. Doesn't work, so I might as well drop it. There you go, right? So, and then I'm, then I'm gonna walk away, right? I'm gonna walk out here. It's gonna stream out. It's gone. And I decide, oh, you know what? I really want my remote again. And then it's gonna remember that I dropped it. It's gonna stream it back in, even if it was on the surface of a planet. And it'll be there, and I can pick it up in first person. And uh, that's a big step for us to be able to do that. Uh, and we'll, we'll... Um, but we're doing a complete refactor of um, the whole database, the item cache, uh, drop my gun in the woods somewhere in Hurston, and I leave, I come back, that gun will be there. Uh, but I, you know, I would say you know, expect to see the persistent changes come. Uh, I mean, I'm, we're hoping to, I mean, well, I'm not going to say I'd have to. Sometime uh, around about middle of this year, I think. Uh, so full universe persistence. And that is the persistence that allows us to save everything, period. So you can take your coffee mug and drop it in a forest, or you could come back and see it if someone else hasn't stolen it. Uh, and so the, the, the <laughs> and that, that, that iterates to every... every uh, we save the state, it goes back to a cloud database, it's what we're calling the iCache. The new iCache is also being built with our gameplay systems in mind, an understanding of how we need to query data from game servers. At this point we have a much better idea of how the game works than when the legacy P cache was created. The difference beyond 3.8, the iCache system we're talking about, is that that allows us to almost shape the world with this persistence, so like as a as a player, I could, you know, make a homestead on a planet and, and you know, build myself a little outpost or a hut or... Right, you know, and, it's not, and it's not just, you know, to be clear, it's not just a you thing. It's like, well, if you build that homestead in the middle of nowhere and someone happens to stumble upon it, then they can interact with it, they can raise it to the ground, they can customize it, they can have them and their friends move in. It's like, you don't really know what the, you know, the state's going to be when you leave things out in these public places. It's, it's completely emergent behavior that's kind of like what you would see in the real world, really. Th these are all actually very simple things to leverage this you know, long-term persistent functionality. Yeah, and it sounds so simple, but the emergence of it is incredible. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it, but that's what we do so often, which is we build in the low level, the fundamental mechanics, and then you get all of this complex functionality just naturally results. All right, so uh, they, there you go, uh, folks. That's a fairly in-depth uh, discussion of uh, what's coming up this year. Yeah, we're building out the the, the back-end uh, database, what we call the entity graph, that is going to sort of persist and remember the state of every single entity and object. You know, whether you dropped a Coke can in the middle of a forest on a planet, we've, um, you know, we're making really good progress to it. I'm not going to promise any dates because it's, it's no the, by far the, the most technically uh, challenging thing. I will say probably by the end of this year, we should hopefully have the proper persistence in there that we that talk about the proper global persistence which is this sort of streaming entity graph thing that I've just uh, discussed which is you know the new version of what was being called the iCache before if people are getting confused about that. Our current aim is to release persistent streaming and the first version of the replication layer ideally between Q1 and Q2 next year. ICache would likely not be able to, to have low latency that means that you could drop a gun or a med pen in a forested area on Mic 1.8 release to life in late Q3. I know many of you have been waiting for salvage, physicalized cargo, and persistent entity streaming for a long time, and I am excited to see us in the home stretch to finally bring it to you.